Welcome everyone, my name is Bogumil Kamiński and today I will present you an introduction to DataFrail JL package prepared for the Julia Academy. All the materials prepared uh, for these courses are available at GitHub in the Julia Academy slash DataFrames repository. Uh, you can download it uh, here by pressing the code button here and either cloning it using Git or simply downloading a zip file. Then unzip the uh, downloaded files and, uh, and make sure to start a Jupyter Notebook session in the folder with the downloaded materials. Uh, I assume that you already know how to set up your Julia environment and how to set up iJulia uh, that is a package for working with Jupyter Notebooks. Um, if not, then I recommend you checking out introductory videos on Julia Academy that cover this topic in detail. In this tutorial, we have six notebooks that present uh, various uh, aspects of using data frames JL package. And in this session, I will present you the information how to properly perform an, an environment setup check for working with the tutorials. So let me switch to the first notebook that I have already opened. And uh, what is important with uh, Julia is um, that uh, you can uh, easily make sure that uh, your environment is uh, exactly the same as the one I have used to prepare those notebooks. So first of all, you can check the version of Julia, which is 1.5.3, but if your Julia version is other than that, but uh, later than 1.0, then all notebooks should work without a problem. And the crucial thing is to make sure that you have Project Toml and Manifest Toml present in your local folder. Mm, those files give Julia an information about the exact configuration of the packages that should be used for this project. So uh, I here first check if those two files are present and indeed they are. And next using the status command of the Julia package manager here, I check what packages and in what versions uh, I have installed. If you've never used those packages before, then it's recommended to use another command of the Julia package manager that is called instantiate to make sure that those packages get properly installed and downloaded. Uh, as you can see, <coughs> he, uh, we will use uh, more than one package in this tutorial and the reason for this is that the approach in Julia package ecosystem is that one package concentrates on providing one functionality and it's easy to compose those functionalities by combining different packages. So the packages we will use in this tutorial are the following. DataFrames JL is a core package that provides uh, data frame type that is used to store tabular data. CSV JL is used to read and write CSV files. Frag tables is a very useful utility package for creation of frequency and proportion tables. GLM JL is used to create, um, to build uh, linear regression and generalized linear regression models. PyPlot can, will be used for plotting. PipeJL is uh, another small but very useful package for um, making it easier to chain function calls in Julia. Finally, ArrowJL is a new but very powerful package for reading and writing Apache Arrow uh, format that files. And Unitful JL is a package for working with physical units like kilograms, centimeters, etc. So uh, if you have everything working here, we can move on to the 
um, next part of the tutorial where we, we will discuss an introduction to uh, data frames.